Hello everybody! So last time I attempted to make a roller coaster, it ended up being really, really terrible. So, I set off with a plan to make a better one. So I made my own part completely in a challenge mode. So, you start with very limited funds and nothing at all. It's completely flat land. So, and this is what I ended up with so far. So I've made some crazy rides, but made some little steampunky thing going on here. Which is really nice. I made this little entrance myself. It has little gears and a clock on it. I made this too. Like, I stuck it all together. I thought it was quite nice. Um... Yeah, so the actual park, I'm actually really pleased with. There's, a, there's my coaster, I'll show that in a second. Got a little, uh, all these little shops. Look at the mascot I've got. Look at this fox. She she goes round and, like, poses at people with her coffee. I don't even think that's, think that's real coffee, but people are really impressed. Look. Look, they're like, yeah, she's amazing. I also have a princess running around somewhere. I'm not sure where my princess is. I don't know if I can see my princess. Oh, there's my princess. Look, she, she's the other uh, mascot of the park. She runs around and, like, poses at people. Excellent. So... I went for a sort of steampunky sort of park at first. Uh, that was my idea. Had some of the trains and stuff. Then we went to this thing because, look, sort of piratey. It's great. Look at this! And a dragon. But my pride and joy was the roller coaster I ended up making. It took me about two hours and all, which I know sounds ludicrous. But, uh, so this is the queue for the, for the coaster, which is pretty funky. Then you got, like, little steam vents. And then you got this thing. So the coaster itself is similar to Oblivion. It's a coaster from the UK. It goes up and does a drop, but what I did is make it go under the ground. I made a small lake here with like some scenery, looks like a crash ship, you know, some market stalls here, some stuff going on. Put some rocks down there. Bear in mind, it literally starts out looking like this, like this sort of land. It's completely empty, so I had to do all this myself, which is amazing since how creatively bankrupt I am. So, and as you can see, there's some stuff going on under there. There's a witch's house that's kind of falling in the hole, looks like the sort of sinkholes happened, it's great. I'm really pleased with it, so I thought I'd uh, just ride the coaster and show you. So, uh, let's, let's, let's hijack somebody. Who needs hijacking? You, madam. No, no, we'll go with the front, actually. You, sir. Oblivion looks ace. I even called it Oblivion. So I said creatively bankrupt. There we go. We'll control this young man. Look. Ugh. Oh, wait, this is the back. Oh, God, this is the back. Disaster. We're not going at the back. We're going at the front. So, you. You, young lady. Here we go. Excellent. Look at this. Now that is pretty tall. Oh wait, did it break down? No, no, I think they're just... I think he's just expecting it, that's fine. Cool, we're in, we're in, excellent. Good stuff. It's quite exciting. Right, I'll stop moving the camera around now because it'll put the little thingy up. I said it took me about an hour and a half and it cost me around five, six thousand dollars to make. It wasn't actually super expensive, but the most time consuming part was just getting it all right. And I'm really proud of it, so... Uh, which is amazing because the first, the first, uh, like, take one of this, everybody vomited on it, like, immediately. They were like, yeah, this roller coaster looks amazing, and then they go off, and, went, and I was like, oh god, okay, so we have to change that. I think I had, like, G-force of, like, 12 Gs. It's probably gonna kill everybody. Ooh. Oh. Love it. Made it hang for about six seconds, and then... Whoa. Go through the cave. There's a skull on the side as well. That doesn't mean that's it. That's that's kind of all it does. I mean, I know it's not like amazing. There's no like loops in it and stuff, but I'm kind of proud of it. So yeah. Um, where can I get a drink around here? Wherever you like. I have loads. There's loads. You can get drinks here. You can get drinks there. Look, the coffee store. No one's currently queuing up for Foxy Coffee. Don't t don't say you can't get a drink around here. Anyway, that, that, that's kind of what I was going to show you. It was, uh, this is my own little theme park, and I'm pretty happy with it. It's, cause it's you know, a reasonable amount of space, actually. I was bitching about it to Glyker earlier. I said, no, there's not enough space in these parks, and I realised actually there is tons. you got a lot of room to do stuff with. Anyway, that's that. Um, Castlevania will be up later tonight, uh, so it's not just this for today. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Toodles!